Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy here, and in this quick video we're going to take a short look at the Nokia Z launcher. It's important to note that this launcher is in beta, which means there will be bugs, so keep that in mind if you decide to try it. The first thing you'll notice about the Nokia Z launcher is how clean it is. There aren't any unnecessary widgets or controls to worry about, it is just one home screen along with an app drawer and a fairly bare bones settings menu. On the home screen you'll see a short list of the applications you use the most, and in some cases the people who you contact most frequently. Along the bottom is your standard dock with four shortcuts and the app drawer button. Finally, along the top there is a scrollable clock widget. If you scroll to the right, you will see your next upcoming calendar event, and finally one more swipe brings you the weather. The hallmark feature of the Nokia Z launcher is the gesture controls. It works by essentially combining your home screen with an app search function. You draw the first letter of the application you want, and sometimes you may have to draw additional letters to find what you're looking for. The app then pops up, and you open it. The other big feature is that the Z Launcher learns what applications you like and shows them to you during different parts of the day. I've only had it a day or so, so I can't really test this one, but contextual stuff is usually hit or miss, so your results may vary. In the app drawer, you'll see one big, long, alphabetized list of all of your applications. At the top of that, you'll see a gear symbol to get to the Z Launcher settings and an icon shortcut that takes you to the Google Play Store. And while it is a small thing, the Play Store shortcut is a nice touch. Here's the thing, folks, that's really it. I can't stress enough how minimal and easy to use this launcher really is, and that is both its biggest strength and its greatest weakness. Thanks to its clean, small, minimal style, the launcher uses little memory, and doing anything requires very little time or effort, and we like that a lot. Many launchers these days have a labyrinth of features and settings, but Z Launcher keeps it simple. However, it is a weakness as well. There aren't a lot of features aside from the gesture controls and the favorite app's functionality. The non-paginated app list can be a hassle to scroll through, and more than once you'll go to scroll on something on the home screen out of habit and end up drawing a letter instead, which brings up a list and it can get disorienting. Perhaps the worst part is that there isn't anything to do. If you're like me, you like to browse around your home screens a little bit, and if an app or a game catches your eye, you're like, well, hell, why not? With the Z Launcher, there is no browsing, really. It's meant to keep things quick and simple and get you the applications you want when it thinks you need them. I imagine the kind of people who will like this application are people who are minimalists who know exactly what they want the moment they pick up their device. Aside from that, I noticed no discernible battery drain. The performance was fantastic. I've heard that the performance isn't so great on Lollipop, but this is a beta, so those people should just relax. I really like the three-page scrollable widget at the top of the home screen and the Google Play shortcut in the app drawer. The gesture controls are really fun once you get used to them, and the favorite apps list is off to a good start, at least for me. If you're a fan of things like Nova Launch, Launcher, Action Launcher, Apex Launcher, etc., and you like having all of those features and controls, then you're probably not going to like Z Launcher so much. If you're looking for something smaller, more minimal, and something that stays out of your way unless you need it, Z Launcher may be for you. And that's it for this video, folks. If you're interested in the Z Launcher beta, we'll have a link in the video description below that'll take you to where you can download it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.